Okay, starting this video again. Oh, well, now the bushes are covering the cabin, but trying to get an idea of the field mowing. Um, there was an arena here, and there was a substantial cost in bringing in um, well, the granitic soils and leveling. And so they took the actual arena, but the space is still there. Should somebody want to put one in? Look at that cabin sitting in the trees. Okay. I'm going to walk over to the main home, which is the 3,000 foot chalet. There's the two car garage on one five acre parcel. And you saw the cabin on the other five acres, so 10 acres with a cabin. Really nice um, open beam metal roofed carport over there. It almost looks high enough for an RV. Maybe I'm going to have to go over there. 10 to 14 feet high, looks like. Okay. My goodness. Okay. Yeah, on the subject of field mowing. Hear the birds and the wind in the trees. Oh, there's some apple trees, fruit trees. remember what's in there. Anyhow, stick to the program lid. So Meadowland through the trees. I guess we'll leave that natural. Let's see if the field mower can get to this pasture. Wow. Ah, here's the overflow of the spring. You can hear it. Okay. Fence pasture. Hmm. That doesn't look like it needs any. Oh. Quail. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe some. Wait, I don't know. Let's maybe leave it natural. The pond. Yeah, oh my goodness. Can I get a shot of this? Look at this pond. Koi! Well, not like they can hear me. I do the darndest things sometimes. But yeah, do you see the koi in there? Big, big koi. Oh, there's one. I heard there were like a dozen, but I don't know. I don't know how many are here anymore. Man, they're beautiful. Okay, I guess back. I guess that's enough for the video for the field mowing. Fenced and cross-fenced pens. Just in case I use this video for informational purposes. Oh, 